Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, forehead, how's it going? This is my uh, this is my office. You can take a seat if you want. Uh, I'm all right, thank you. Um, <laughs> I'm Grace Daniels, and this is my paralegal Roman Atlas. Um, <clears throat> all right, so none of you guys have weapons trafficking prior, um, and uh, Roman looked up the minimums. And so the uh, minimum for weapons trafficking for the first offense is three years in prison, three years parole, and a hundred and fifty thousand dollar fine. So how the fuck? How the fuck they charge us with ten years? Uh, they can ask for whatever they want, and okay. usually they ask for more than they can get as a bargaining chip. Um, so uh, let me uh, let me see what uh, let me see what I can recommend for you and. Uh, the others here hold on all right so um i'm not sure specifically why they decided to go so high but i'm gonna try to go with the minimum and see if the prosecution will go for it but if not uh, i'm thinking maybe we can meet in the middle with them and do uh five five and uh five hundred thousand about, about the pedos, right yeah so they're asking for 10 years and a million dollars. I'm going to try to see if they'll go with the minimum. Um, but if they don't agree to go to the minimum, I'm willing to maybe meet them in the middle with uh, five years, five years, and, uh, and um, you know, see if I can get them down to, you know, maybe 250K or maybe even. But I don't want to go any lower than 500K. But I do think that they have enough evidence well, if that I, if we go to court, you guys are going to get found guilty. Oh, I was going to ask you, did you see the evidence? Yes. Um, there is a lot of evidence <laughs> against you guys. Um, yeah, it's pretty, so bad. While, it's pretty bad. Yeah. So, I mean, while you guys could try to fight it, I really don't think that it's going to be worth trying to fight it. Okay. But I do think that 10 years for a first offense is a lot. So let me see what I can uh, what I can get for um, if I can get them to do the minimums. Uh, but if I can't get them to do the minimum, I'm thinking maybe meet them in the middle with uh, five five and up to five hundred thousand dollars. But I'm going to try to lowball that, that the fine for you. Okay, I tell you what, how about this? Okay, mm -hmm. how about you tell them? You know, since it is our first time offense and uh, they they are going three times over the minimum for for a first time offender, right? You tell mm -hmm. them we'll take the, uh, the three years, three years parole and the million dollar fine. I'll take that. If they won't give us that, we're going to trial. Okay, so you're willing to pay a million dollars, but yeah. you don't want the time. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm still going to try to lowball them, but I'll save the million dollars for a last resort. Um, but I'll I'll try to I'll try to go with the minimum first and see what we can do from there. Um, because I'm guessing they probably want the money more than they want uh, you guys in prison longer. So uh, knowing that I can bargain up to a million there for you will definitely help. Um, but I'm definitely going to try to get you the best deal I can with, uh, with the smallest one. So um, the smallest amounts possible. Uh, let me look at what they're asking for uh, for your brother. Hold on. I think it's the same thing, though. No? Pick me, my brother, and uh, Ming are getting the same charge. All right. Um, so, yeah, I'm still trying to get in touch with Ming. Um, but I heard back from Peter Johnson. And I heard back from Chris. Um, Chris? There's uh, Chris King. Who the fuck is Chris King? Uh, he... He's getting charged because four of the guns you guys had were his, and he never oh. Um, oh. he never reported them stolen. So, <clears throat> uh huh. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. I I I heard from him that uh, he's been out of the city for a while. So I'm guessing maybe he uh, <laughs> had some shared parking with some other people, and that's how the guns. Got, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's how we got those. Yep. Yep. You're right. Mm -hmm. right. Uh -huh, yeah. Hundred uh -huh. percent. All right. Well, I mean, you know, you. you what is know. what is he getting charged with? He is getting charged with um, accessory Me for not reporting those. But what's the like fine so, and time? Uh, they're looking at giving him. Hold on. 
Uh, they want five years, five years, and half a million dollars from him. Okay. So yeah, he uh, he might be pretty pissed at you guys. <laughs> but I'm going to see what I can do about uh, about getting that reduced for him as well. But, um, but yeah, he says he hasn't been in the city for like a month. So he obviously couldn't report it if he wasn't around. Uh well, I think he has a fighting chance in court, you know? I think he's the only one. Probably, but I'll see if I can, uh, I'll see if I can do something else for him as well, but, um... But yeah, you guys with the, with the 10, 10 and the million dollars, I definitely want to try to well, get a lot less for you guys, and, yeah. uh... Well, I think we're fucked. You know, we're, we're completely fucked, but... I'm also not gonna take fucking 10 years in prison. So, you know, just let them know we'll take the three years, I'll pay them in the fine. If they don't want to do that, fuck it, just go to trial. All right, we will do what we can. I will, uh, I will reach out to her for uh, plea negotiations for you and your brother and um, a couple of other people that I have uh, already confirmed want me to represent them. Uh, there's still a couple people I'm waiting on because the prosecution is being kind of bitchy about this and it's like, Oh, can you confirm that you've talked to every defendant and they all are agreed that you're going to represent them? And it's like, do you know how difficult it is to get in touch with seven people in the city? You know, that are listed as defendants here? Well, yeah, it's not, it's not easy. It's not, but... Uh, but yeah, they they pulled this crap when I did the... Uh, when I did the Hydra case uh, like a month or two ago. They're like... Well, I'm like, well, you know, they're all here and none of them are telling you that I'm not their lawyer. So kind of means I'm their lawyer. But now they're being kind of, you know, sticklers for it. All right. Well, but, um... uh, but yeah, so I will uh, I will reach out with this uh, with the, the offer of the minimums and see if we can go from there. Bro, this uh, I appreciate knowing uh, this where your place. limit is. So, yeah. Ah, I just think, yep. you know, I think it's a bit excessive, you know, to give us 10 years, but I mean, shit. Oh, it at the is. Same, at the and same they're... time, we did have a, <clears throat> an RPG, you know, we, we had some stuff in those vans. Yeah, you guys, uh, you guys had a pretty nice uh, sale going on there from uh, what the evidence looks like. You know what, you should tell you should tell the police and the prosecution that they, you know, they should be ashamed of themselves for shutting down a local businesses, you know what I'm saying? That was, that mm -hmm. was a local business in the south side. And we're just trying to make money. And they come in here fucking our shit up. You know, you know what? If we go to Chella, I'll tell them this. You know, they fucking should be ashamed. Disgusting behavior, you know? Yeah, I mean, you know, you guys are just trying to make a little yeah, money exactly, here. exactly. Exactly. I'm broke. Exactly. All right. Well, um, yep. I will, uh, I will send her an email today. And I will uh, let you know how things go. All right. All right. Appreciate you. All right, we'll see you right. later. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. I'll buy forehead. All right, have a good one, guys. I'll see you guys at the wedding, you know? Yeah, yeah. we'll see you there. We'll see you there.